out. I think it's time for me to to uh, win, right? <laughs> that that just wow, wow. He couldn't take me out last turn, but let's go ahead and make this just a little bit higher. Sacrifice that. Take a quick picture there. And then we're going to go ahead and... Good boy, Titan. You're a good boy. Hershey. Good boy. I asked these guys a question. I hope that they uh, get it. I asked them what the most unexpected creature or object they've ever come across is. There it is. You guys have seen on some of the uh, dives on this expedition. Whale fall. Whale fall. Whale fall. Whale fall was big. Crow blizzard. Crow blizzard and squid was really impressive. The bait ball thing we saw yesterday. There are some of the keys that we came across. I think. Yes, though. I think it was fish eating and fish eating and fish. That was pretty cool. That was pretty unexpected. Also discovering so, some pro sea stars. Yeah. Um, that was not know. Well rounded. Yeah. Well rounded. He's well rounded. He's been taking music and French. How cool is that? <laughs> they asked my question as they're doing a live dive with their submersibles. <laughs> my friend and they were Sarah so told by a geology joke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I always love it when I when I am able to get uh, get on a live feed like this, especially cool stuff like this where they're doing underwater dives, and uh, I ask them an interesting question and I don't know, just really cool. I once had a remora try to attach itself to my leg while I was diving. It was hiding from a barracuda. That was the most surprising thing that's ever happened to me while diving. I would hide from a barracuda. Those things have the like most dead eyes of any creature. Yes. Uh, yeah, they're going to stare at you there. Yeah. This is one of those uh, live streams that you don't have like open access to. You have to know how to find it to get access to the video feeds because they don't publicly share and you can't just open it up on YouTube. But barracudas don't attack people either. They just kind of hang out and at a distance. And they stream like 24-7. Not always dives, but they're streaming like their boat cameras and stuff of their research vessel, the Nautilus. Yeah, well, one one jumped into a boat following a a, a spinner lure, right? And like scared somebody in the boat, and they had a heart attack. So that's a little bit, yeah. It, I don't think he was swimming around thinking, I hope I could cause him a heart attack that's today. Death by surprise, not barracuda. There was much like a ray that was jumping out of the water and hit someone who was in a boat. <laughs> just like a bat to bat, just like the ray just flying, boom, and then just hitting somebody like. <laughs> I've heard about a lot dead. of stingrays and sharks that gave birth in a boat. Really? Whoa. Yeah. They, um, 
Were they so stressed out that they just started expelling their? I guess so. Um, it was well, adorable though. <laughs> expelling okay. their young. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been on a lot of shark research studies, and I have never seen a shark expel its young. But maybe I haven't run across a pregnant shark. Oh, I see. It's all those squat lobster pincers right there. Pretty sure. Well, I'm starting to think that this is the Stonehenge of Osborne Bay. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the circular feature the other day, and that's kind of what I was hoping it would have been, but it was not. They're looking at the cable line that's encrusted. A lot of it, and it's it's not strung out, which is different from most lines. It's all jumbled. It's almost like it was intentionally yeah, abandoned or something. Yeah. yeah. I just asked them another question about garbage on the bottom. Video that's cool. Lobster over the side in heavy weather. So I don't really got a whole lot. I asked him another question about watching the uh, the submersible after every dive. We'll see if they answer that too. But uh, looks like close to together, kind of spherical. That's an interesting. What's that? So yes, when we recover the ROVs. Oh yeah, I see yeah. that. Right is above that a her. Cone shell? What is that? Looks like somebody's innards. I think she was trying to answer my question, but they're distracted. if we got a seat around here. Um, or spray them down with fresh water. Get 
that salt water off of them? Good question. Yay. Yeah, about another 60 meters on this 330. Sure. Under a different topic. Uh, I ordered the Oculus Rift CV1 tonight. I probably won't get it for a couple weeks, though. Uh, see what my brother's up to. Brother! You're not in here. Peace. Clearly watching Game of Thrones. Well, I can't really record with that background noise because I'll get copyright protected, so talk to you guys later. Anyways, yeah, don't really got a whole lot to talk about right now, so I'm not gonna waste time. And we're back again. <laughs> I find this fascinating and entertaining, so I figured you guys might find some of it too. <laughs> that fish is just like right up on the camera. You guys don't care to see this stuff, but uh, it's fascinating oh, wow. to me. Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. You can see the So, uh, so I made it over to this kind of clearer area. Yeah, and stopped the moving about 40 meters, and then we could start sliding to the